all they claim With her eyes of night, lips as bright as flame uh, my name is Michael Floor, and I'm an artist. And I do impressionistic paintings of cafes and restaurants and street scenes, and that's what I do. I've always been into art. You know, my parents told me when I was, you know, four years old, I was always drawing, and that was one of the only things that would kind of calm me down. So, because I was a pretty hyper kid, and uh, so art was just fascinating for me. And then when I was about six, six and a half, seven. I was in, uh, I took some lessons, so I was actually tutoring for uh, dyslexia, so I wasn't the best speller in the world. <laughs> but it was a cool program where they had me uh, tutoring for an hour, and the teacher was an art teacher, so then the last hour would be oil painting. So that was the reward to get through the tutoring. But doing that at six years old was a great experience to get into painting that young. I think if you have some natural ability of artistic in you or artistic talent, I always looked at things as like a painting, or how, how would I paint that, and you know, I think I just, uh, yeah, I just love seeing things and trying to reproduce it on a 2D, 2D image. And then I'll have people ask me how I got into some of the bar scene paintings that I do in some of the cafes. Uh, I think it happened when I was, uh, I'd visit my uncle there in Minnesota and he, he would drag me in, I was probably you know, 10, 11, he'd drag me into the bar with him, I'd have a Coke. So I'd be the only kid in there because he kind of knew everyone, so I'd be drinking a Coke and he'd have his beer. and I'd just be sitting there drawing on the napkins all the characters that I would see there. Yeah, my colors, they, a lot of people say they're unorthodox, they're kind of, uh, in art school their teachers always told us, some of the colors I use now, they say, you can't put those two colors together, those are not supposed to work together, but I think it was until you know how to use them right. So that's why I like trying to use colors that really shouldn't work, but when you do make them work, they, it really comes out cool. So when I moved up to San Francisco, I saw all the rain all the time and how it made all the, uh, when you have rain on the streets, it reflects all the colors that you see in the building, so that's how I got all those rainy scene ideas. You know, uh, my, a lot of times I'll use a sketch, like a pen sketch, if I'm sitting at a cafe or a street scene, and then I, now I have to make up the colors, so that's what's cool as an artist, to be able to make up your colors, and rather than painting from a photo that's a color photo, because then you subconsciously start trying to copy the colors that you see. You know, people think, oh, you must, you, know, you have the best life. You just, you know, you can paint here and there. And I was like, no, it's like I'm painting. You know, there's several galleries that carry my work and the originals are in high demand. So it's like, I have to, it's, I, I treat it like a regular job that I adore, I love. And I, I just, I paint eight to 10 hours a day. I'm out there because I want to and the demand. So it's, it's cool. It's not even for the money. You know, I, I, I love painting. I, if my paintings weren't selling, I'd just work somewhere and still paint. You know, it's, it's my passion. Mm -hmm. 